Let's All do right. this. We've got, oh my God, nearly 150 people. Whoa. We're gonna well, have to, let's we'll, do our best. We'll, have to, we'll, we'll try to move at a, a gingerly pace as it goes. Yeah. So, we won't. A gingerly pace? We need to move at a quick pace. Quick pace, even. Uh, shout out to Ryan Walterson for putting together this list. Um, let me let him know. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, starting the list now. All right, here we go. We got S tier. That's the best. A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, F tier, and I don't know tier. All right. All right. Let's, Let's get started. First one is Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So we, should we put on some some background music, some yes. like lovey dovey music? I'll put on some uh, <laughs> music here. Uh, chat. What kind of music do we want in the background? Hmm. Rishi, do you have a, an idea? Um, I was saying some Eurobeat. <laughs> Eurobeat? Um, no, I want some. I, was, easy I thought listening. it'd be funny to put on like some. I guess nothing, nothing with lyrics. Easy would be good. listening. Do like romantic, a romantic night in Paris type of music. Royalty <laughs> free. Hold on, hold on. Nah. We'll do synthwave. Synth <laughs> Careless wave. whisper. Yes. He's I sing that road, I... I'm wondering why. That's not careless whisper. That's Dido. That's Dido? Yeah. Why I got out of bed at all. Dido. Something on my window. And Dido. I can't see at all. Hold on. I gotta find this thing here. 1980s. Synth wave. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. We're gonna listen to this right here. <laughs> here we go. Can you hear this? I do hear it. All right, chat. Can you hear that? All right. Cool. We're gonna skip ahead. All right, here we go. Sounds great. Okay. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Mickey and Minnie. They I are mean, like. They're adorable. The, yeah, they're like the most generic, perfectly safe, you know, hetero couple, I guess. Uh, hold on. This is the thing where Minnie is like, I, I wrote you a song. Yeah, here we go. I love the new Mickey Mouse cartoons. You're so into a ukulele! No, silly. I wrote you a song. Whoa. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, A tier. Yeah, A tier is nice. All right, D Donald and Daisy. I don't know much about these two. Do you? Uh, they seem to have like a slightly spicier relationship than Mickey and Minnie. They fight a lot, I mean, though. They do fight a lot. That's why I'm saying they're a little bit more spicy. You know, they. I'm saying they're a bit hot and cold. Yeah. B's fine. Nope. I wouldn't even. I don't know if I'd even honestly put Mickey and Minnie in A tier. The upper B I mean, tier. They're, yeah, they're. Perfectly fine. Real fast, Chad, how do we sound, by the way, at the moment with the audio levels? Can you all hear Rishi okay? I mean, Can you hear me okay? Can you hear all of us We've okay? been going at it for like an hour and a half, so I hope that we sound good. Well, I mean, the music's now involved. I see. Some people say we're good. Okay. Popeye and Olive Oil. I don't know much about these two. Because... They're... I feel... I'm trying to remember when I would watch the cartoons. Usually she was pretty oblivious, I think, to him wanting to be with her. Uh, and she was often kind of with that other guy. Bluto. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he, he lost her a lot. And she'd be like, Popeye, help! I, 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 yeah. I, I put them in C tier, to be honest. Yeah, C tier is fine. You know, actually, he lost her a lot, and she would go hang out with Bluto in D tier. Yeah, that's fine with me. Sorry, guys. All right, uh, Snow White and Prince Charming. Uh, they barely knew each other. I'd say F tier, but I will say I do love the song um, when she's at the wishing well and she's like, I'm wishing I'm... for the one I love. And then <laughs> she's like, today. today. And he walks and he's like, today. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, she like lost her shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. I love that. It's very Betty Her Boop voice is so funny. music. Actually, I, like, <laughs> I might turn good. off the synthwave music. I might pull up yeah. multiple examples for the stuff here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he's like, today, today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, does it cut off right before he what shows the fuck? up? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Why is what's with his like very like accurate Ooh. looking lips? Very rosy looking lips. Mwah. <laughs> okay, for what it's worth though, that's really impressive animation for the fucking nineteen. What? Yeah, beautiful. Was it thirties? Uh, I think even the twenties. No, there's no way. I thought it came out. Uh, Snow White, uh, wow, 19... Oh, 1937, okay, That's you're right. That's still really impressive. They were able to pull up the, the reflection shots. The distortion with the water. He <laughs> just pops in so fast. <laughs> Look, look, woof! <laughs> it comes in in like four frames. Hello. Did I frighten you? Hello. These, these, <laughs> these artists and animators must have been just blunt, like, you know, brute force. Like, I'm going to work myself to the bone to get this shit as fluid as possible. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Wait. And I, I do like the song they sing here. Well, what was it now? There's like, there like a deer in Snow White that moved around. That, like, the Disney animators are like, okay, we fucked this up. Well, they, oh. yeah, they look like they're made out of, like, dough. Right. They hadn't studied, like, deer anatomy yet. They're then, cute, but they definitely didn't look super anatomically accurate. You can't tell me that Bambi wasn't them going, we're, we're going to make this right. I love that they did F -tier. that. I love Bambi. F -tier. Yeah, F tier, Sorry. for sure. I mean, oh, you I like know, the song, uh, D tier, but... D tier. He, no, they're not a he couple. Tried to, he, he went to go fight for her, at least fight for her nope he kissed someone who was sleeping never mind. i was gonna say he didn't fight for her at all it was the dwarves you're right never mind <laughs> you didn't do an jack shit <laughs> all right cinderella and prince charming okay who's this guy then a different prince charming fuck okay prince charming and cinderella who or right, is his name charming or is it what do they call it prince charming i guess it's... wait no 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 the prince just called the prince just the prince, okay. Well, okay, let's see. You know what? In the first movie, again, I love the song that plays when they... You should pull up that song because it's really, really good. Um, The, so this is love. Cinderella. Mm. So, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so this is love. All right, hold on. Yeah, I love this song. So this is love. Mm -hmm. um, but again, so it's like these two don't have any chemistry. Love. They dance together, and it's cute. But um, I do like. Oh no! So this is my oh, I just kind of like that. <laughs> All right. I mean, they barely knew um, each other. But in the in the sequels, they actually do make the prince like a lot more compelling of a character. Yeah, um, yeah, it's sequel. And he's pretty yeah, fun. Fine, we we'll, we'll just put him. I'd say they're at least above F tier. C tier. Still maybe D tier though. Above yeah. I mean at least yeah. at least he, they didn't lose each other the way that Popeye loses olive oil all the fucking time. Sorry, Popeye, you're getting you're getting cucked, dude. Alright. Uh, we got Tramp Aww. and Lady. I like Tramp and Lady. Oh, she's such a lady. Um I mean she I uh, give him B tier. Tramp, cute. Tramp fights for her. Yeah, he does. Doesn't he fight like some rat or something or some other? Mean well, dog? he doesn't fight the rat for her. He fights the rat to protect the baby because oh, yeah. the rat was like gonna eat the baby's face or something. So um, what lower B then? I like lower B. I think they're very cute. Right. I wouldn't say like, oh my god, they're such deep, complex characters, and their relationship is, you know, you know, full of so many peaks and valleys and twists and turns. It's like, yeah, they have their falling out. Um but I think they're very sweet. All right. Uh, Sleeping Beauty and Prince Charming. That's Prince Philip. Philip. Yeah. I like the case. So they have let's see, Princess Aurora is kind of like empty. She's very pretty and she's got a beautiful singing voice. But I mean, she's not. There's not much there in the terms of personality. Princess. It's like literally what she was gifted with, you know, just being pretty. And what was what were her gifts that the fairies gave her? Being beautiful. 
Uh, she had um, she was she was a trust fund kid. Yes. But they I, have I love this song. The, this is a great song too. The, the background art in this movie, the, the art in general, but the background art, I love the geometry. Like the way everything is drawn so like tight. Oh, it's true that visions are like you ever see... Uh, These two have a little bit more chemistry. They have... And at least they spend a little bit more time together. Sleeping You know, before he control. kisses her while she's asleep. Hold on. Leave their lives with some most joyful... I like how it actually seems like it's from a medieval drawing. You know? Yeah, it's so cool. I, yeah, the art for this movie is fantastic. Like even like the the symmetry of the guy standing like shoulder to shoulder. That's like reminiscent of like I wish I knew art history better, but that reminds me a lot of the medieval drawings, and, like tapestries. Makes me wonder what actually is objectively, if as objective as subjective can be, the most complicated Disney animated film. Because I've been told that it is Sleeping Beauty. All right, these two though, I mean they. Yeah. Um, I'd say maybe also D tier. C tier is a little generous, Upper but D. you know, like people are saying, you know, he did actually fight for her. Yeah. You know, he did a lot more for her. But and this... they did have more time on screen together, and you know, there's some cute chemistry there. Right. Um. But it's not like they're the most tried and true. Well, they don't have a rapport, thing. really. They they barely know. Yeah, they each sing other. a song and they dance and they're cute. Um, and you know he fights for her, but then that's kind of it. You don't really get it's to see it. Aurora much of the in the movie, um, because she's you know asleep half half the time. Fred and Wilma, dude, he goes behind her back all the time. He's always like yelling at her. <laughs> he yells at her, threatens her. He, um, you know, does all these kinds of scams and, and qu you know, quick, rich money schemes. I, I put him in F tier. Yeah, it's fine with me. He's not forthcoming to her. You know, it, yeah, it's entertaining, but it's not a good couple, really. No. Nah. Or lo lower D, lower D tier. Okay, they he does love Wilma, and she's too forgiving, but, like, you know, I'm sorry. I, I feel like F tier is going to be, like, people who are toxic. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to put them Okay, up. that's fine. Uh, I, just, I just remember Peter and Lois existed. I'm I, like, that's what F tier is for. <laughs> okay. Uh, Barney. I mean, at least they they've had they've had sweet moments together. They have sweet moments in some older episodes, but no, it's based on the honeymooners, which you know, lest we forget, bam, boom, right to the moon, or straight, straight to, to the, the moon, moon or whatever. One of these days, Wilma. I'm gonna beat you, um, Betty and Barney. They, Barney seems sweeter than than Fred. They seem like a cuter couple, but gosh, you know it's been so long since I saw Flintstones. I can't even really remember, but they seem just a little bit cuter. I think Barney really loves Betty, but like at the same time, Barney gets roped into these schemes with Fred, and Betty and Wilma are on the same page, being like, "What were you boys up to?" So I'm gonna say, at best, C tier. Sure. All right, we got, uh, we got... Oh, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs characters. What's his name? Flynn? Flint? Yeah, it's not... Uh, Ryan forgot to put this in, in this one. Flynn, Flynn Ryder, I think? No, that's from Rapunzel. Fl Fl Flynn Lockwood. Flint the Lockwood Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs people. <laughs> Flint Lockwood. Oh, Sam. Yeah, that was her name. I thought she was they're cute. They're cute. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute because they're both like, you know, kind of nerdy and quirky together. You know, they both kind of bring out the best things in each other. Um, I think they're cute. I'd put them at least in C. I, I'd say upper C, maybe lower B. Uh, Right there. Sure. Uh, Cleveland Brown and, um, oh gosh, what's her name? I was going to say Loretta, but that was the old wife. No, that's wife. his old wife. Um, uh, shh. Donna, that Donna. was her name. I don't know much about um, these two. I mean, she doesn't cheat on him, I guess. So that's, my that's nice. Chat, do you all know much about Donna? Uh, the only time I remember it felt like they really had chemistry was in like the first episode of the Cleveland show where, you know, he moves to, where does he move to? Uh, my name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be back in my hometown with my new fam. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that's the only time I really remember them having chemistry. 
And then it's no just sort of standard sitcom wife husband material. I'm putting them in IDK. I just don't know. Yeah. What about um? Ah, uh, Tiana and Naveen. They, they he, Naveen. He, he, he they're sweet. He they're a sweet a, couple. He had a bit of an ego death for her. Yeah, like she completely changed him in like a really positive. They changed each other in like the best of ways. You know, they opened their eyes to, uh, you know, new possibilities. I'd say A tier. I like A. I'd say A tier. They're a very sweet couple. Yeah, Tiana's really cute too. There, there's mm-hmm. a shot at the end where she like shakes a hammer. Uh, Tiana. Yeah, I know exactly the part you're talking about when she's like me. Uh, Tiana, uh, end of uh, Princess and the Frog. I'm find it real fast. All right, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there it is in her like orange dress. That's great. That is excellent character animation. <laughs> She's like, you ready to go kill a bitch? Let's go, let's go break some kneecaps. No, she that that's that's really fucking cute. Look at the way they look at each other. It's so cute. No, Tiana, Tiana's fucking adorable. She's really cute. Yeah. Um. Yeah. A tier. And Navin grew up a lot. You know, he he turned away his yeah. fortune too for her. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's A tier. Um. What about uh? We got um. Oh um. Oh, shit. Hiccup and uh, Astrid. Astrid. They. they you know, I will say. Cute. First movie. I thought it was so obnoxious. It's like, oh, of course, you know, it's the the tough girl who, you know, her heart melts at the end. And she's like, whatever, kiss me. I was like, whatever. But in the uh, sequels, the sequels, I actually think they have a very cute relationship. I'd say A tier. Yeah, A tier for sure. Uh Oh, I see what's on the horizon here. After yeah. This. <laughs> okay. I want to say something important. Uh, okay. Because we'll we'll double back on it throughout the rest of this tier list. Just because a character has flaws in a relationship does not make them a poorly written character. Uh, I agree. And, and that is what Finn and uh, and Flame Princess are. We had their infatuation. Uh, Finn was kind of on the rebound after getting turned down by Princess Bubblegum. Uh, also, at the same time, kind of fuck PB for showing apprehensive like you know you shouldn't be hanging out with with flame princess so i know that for for bubble gum it was mostly because of like existential threats to the kingdom but still it's like do you not understand that finn is is lonely confused he's also going through puberty i digress but um that uh, ignoring all of that these two when they are like just being cute a cute couple together they've got chemistry i think it's super cute and playful I like when they are together up until they aren't. Up until they aren't. Uh, what do you think? Then? Is it, I feel like there needs to be an average then. Um, I'd say... Uh, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's awful. But it's like, you know, it wasn't awful up until, you know, Finn got all fucking weird at the end and, Finn, you know, Finn manipulated her. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, do you want to put them in C tier then maybe? Okay, at least C tier. I was gonna say personally, like when they are together and they're very cute, I'd say B tier. Um, I say but because of the way that it crashes and burns at the end. Oh, yes. burns. Yeah, but you know what's nice is that they reconcile. You know, they spend a lot of time apart and then they reconcile as friends, which is nice. Uh, I put them when they're at their best. I'd say B tier, but just to average it out a little bit, C tier is fine. What about? Uh... Oh gosh. Oh, uh, Huntress. Was Forest Huntress or Huntress Wizard? Is that her name? Huntress Wizard and Fen. Um, we don't better. get to see too much of them, but yeah, I mean that's like end game for Finn, right? So that's nice. They um it's both seem to be pretty independent at the time that they start hanging she's, out she's, together. She's better for him. She's she mm-hmm. seems like she's a bit less like more grounded, more grounded, not as bothered. Things when, when she he needs a girl you know, or a person who isn't as uptight and a bit more relaxed and Huntress Wizard fits fits that bill a bit more. Yeah. I wish we could have seen a little bit more of them, but um Hey, maybe we might in the Fiona and Cake stuff. Maybe. Lady Ranicorn and Jake. That's uh, a cute couple. S tier. S do you think S tier? Yeah, they're adorable. Yeah, they, he he loves her. He, they like unequivocally love each other. 
I like that they also a, a big fan of Adventure Time being like the boys will go off and do, you know, their own thing. I'm not saying that in a gender way, but more of a, a, a person in a relationship can go off and hang with friends. And then Lady Rainy Queen can do her own thing, too. Like, they can respect each other's boundaries. And also, like, you know, it's not just us in our lives. There's our kids. There's our friends. There's our work. There's our, you know, comings and goings. But also, I love you and I'm here for you. I love that. Uh, yeah, yeah S tier. That's like, you know, like relationship goals kind of stuff. Like, aw. You know, okay. they're not married, but they love each other so much. Ooh, bubbling. Uh, I say S tier. That's S tier too. They fought hard for each other at the end. They did. I, they're like such a rich, interesting couple, and they're so cute together. I like it couldn't have made more sense for them to finally get together. I I feel like their story is so like well told that like it it I felt like it started back in the day and age where you wouldn't see a gay couple on TV, but they were like okay you know wink wink we know it's up, but then. Adventure Time ran for so long that eventually it was a bit more okay to show that on TV, thank God. But it's like, dude, their story, though, is so well done. Like, they have got... Yeah, and I, I love just every time they're on screen together. Yeah. I mean, these two, I, I, I shipped hard as when I was watching it back in the day. And then it happened. And I'm like, wow, that felt good. That felt like it was well-earned. So, yeah. Uh, PB and Marceline. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, D tier. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like Ethan either... is so good. Oh, they... Hold on, hold on, hold They're, on, hold they on. They suck now. as a couple. I, I would like to bring to the floor that they should at least be deserving of lower seats here for how their relationship ended. Okay, because they at the very end got the chance to go on a date, and. Uh, Mordecai felt a bit freaked out at how the universe felt like he was put, he was being pushed towards her and her towards him. And that, he yeah, was, that was like after all the CJ stuff, right? Yes. It was kind of like, let's revisit Mar uh, Margaret one more time. And that he was like, listen, I like you as a friend, but I don't want to be with you. And she's like, Oh, thank God. I feel the same way. And I thought they amic amicably met that friendship status quo. And I think that's respectable. I think that yeah, earns them a low C tier. It 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 brings up the average with a good story because I feel like it's important for folks to know that you can be just friends with somebody. That's okay. Oh God, when I see that right next to Finn and Flame Princess, I'm like their relationship is okay. so much more interesting. Upper D then. Yes, I'm like I don't think they're a good couple, and we just spend so much time going through like, oh, will they do it? Will they not do it? Is Mordecai finally going to confess his true feelings? No. Okay. And only... then when they finally do get together, they're like together for like one episode until she leaves. Well, and it's yeah, like, but, they, but she comes back and they kind of hang out. So I, and I, it's obnoxious. I feel that there's a, there's a whole lot of bad. But the ending of the relationship was so mature and so rare to see in television that I thought that that at least bumps their average out of F tier. That's my. No, opinion. it's not F tier, but. It's to me. It's just like, this, is, this is a mediocre couple. All right, what about CJ and Mordecai? They are a much better couple. Until I'm her just anger so sorry management that... and his and his cringe wedding and muscle man's wedding. Yes, so, you know CJ does have anger issues. Poor girl. But to be fair, he Mordecai really pushes her uh, to like get to those boiling points. But you do see over time she like makes so much of an effort to control it and, you know, keep her anger in check and try to be understanding. Like you see at first, you know, when she's first introduced, she just blows up a lot. Yeah. But then, you know, she's like, okay, I want to make this work and I want to be better. So she'll get angry and then she'll calm down and try to like work it out. And, you know, tried so hard to be friends with Margaret just because, you know, she also was friends with Eileen and she's like, I don't want things to be weird. I want to be grown up. Uh, and then, you know, it all, you know, backfired and she got slapped in the face. But um, they were when they were together. They had great chemistry. They were super cute. I agree. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think low C tier is fine. If yeah. You, if you split the average. Yeah. Pong, sure. Pongo and Perdita. They're cute. They're just. They're dogs. Dogs. <laughs> you know, less personality than Lady and Tramp. I'd say. Low C. I put them yeah right there. They're cute. They're very sweet, but you know. I dogs. These next two choices are going into S tier, in my Ooh. opinion. Hmm. No, hear me out. 
hear me no, out. No, no, no. I agree. I love Rigby and Eileen. I actually say that Rigby and Eileen are one of the best cartoon couples, period. My yes. My case. Rigby is abhorrent. He's selfish. He's lazy. He He's a bit of a backstabber sometimes. Throughout the first few seasons of regular yeah, show. Yeah, he's a jerk. He's mean to her. Throughout... He's dismissive to her her, her advances. Um, uh-huh. When Mordecai is with Margaret, you see Rigby hanging out, or at least we're told that he hangs out more with Eileen. And mm-hmm. that is, it's how about that? Throughout the entire show, Mordecai is the one relationship, relationship, relationship. At the end, he has a relationship until he finds his bat wife. But then it's it's yeah. Rigby and Eileen it has his terrifying bat bird children <laughs> eileen inspires rigby to go back to school inspires him to yeah. work harder to clean up to open his mind i think that's what true love is true love is when you love somebody so much is that it creates a way for you to, to have you know like reflection and go i can be better they deserve better i have to be better and i do it because i love them not for me but i do it for, i do it for me but i also do it for them and 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 Eileen's presence makes Rigby a better person and vice versa. I think they're a fantastic couple. I agree. They are for sure. Arguably the best couple in the show. In regular show. But then again, I'm looking at that couple and I'm just like, that's I think that's S tier too. Low low S tier. These two. They know they're so nasty, but there's literally like could not be a more perfect couple, and they are insane about each other they maybe love each other <laughs> like sometimes Bitch. to a detriment where they're just like i can't stand being away from you and we're gonna explode the world trying to find each other but i mean you can't deny how deeply in love these two are they are made for each other <laughs> like literally like look at them yeah <laughs> like they're made in a factory <laughs> mitch loves starla starla loves mitch Mitch pledges his love, his love implicitly towards her and her towards him. Uh, he even tried to improve himself for her. They went in that couples contest on TV to fight for their wedding. They even yeah. had a moment where they're like, listen, we're not the most attractive couple. Who gives a shit? I love you. And that actually made them win the episode. So, like, mm-hmm. I, I think Starla and Mitch are very unorthodox, but, like, they love each other. And Mitch yeah. and her have a family. And they have lots of kids. And they're happy. And they're not toxic. I think they're S tier. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, two S tiers back to back. How about that? Where she's like, remember Mitch was dying to the Grim Reaper? Or to yes, because he wanted to. Was it because he wanted hot to do the hot dogs? Yeah. Oh. I can't let you go until you have your favorite food. And she starts making out with them. And she makes <laughs> death throw up and lose the contest. No, she like sits on his face. Oh, fuck. Stop. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Hold on. We got some bits here. This is from Half Crooked. Grin saying, you know whose marriage was also made in a factory? His mom. Hey, hell yeah. <laughs> um, we've got Megamind and Aww, his girlfriend. The girl. Whatever her name was. Um, They're pretty cute. I mean, she seems... I like their little arc. I, I feel like they're like at least B tier, right? Yeah. Definitely, upper, upper there's some, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah, there's something upper. special there, yeah. What about uh, this guy and and Tangled? Flynn and Rapunzel. Yes. Or no, that's not his name. Eugene. That's Eugene what his real name is. And Eugene and Rapunzel. They are a they're a very cute couple. He gives um, up a lot for her. He changes for her, uh, in the best way, and you know he like you know sets her free. Um. And, you know, he sacrifices himself for her pretty much. Um, I'd say A-tier. They're a very sweet couple. A-tier it is. Yeah, what? behind, like, Tiana and uh, Naveen. I see another S-tier here. I was going to say that's an S-tier. They're, like, the most perfect married sitcom couple. I mean, I, where would you put them in S-tier? Uh, I, I'd say above. Uh, sure. Right there. Right there. Actually, I'd even say more I, than these two. I was going to say, I mean, well, then again, I was going to say they, they've been together for a long time, but you know what? Marceline and 
uh, PB have been alive for like thousands of years. <laughs> yeah, but they've been at odds too. I, I feel That's like true. Bob and Linda, like they are one of the perfect, most like realistic, like modern cartoon couples. Like they, yes. Remember the episode where they try to go out and do party stuff and they keep getting, they f- keep they falling kept asleep. like falling asleep on the couch. Like, like they fall asleep before they leave. <laughs> I, I love that. That's so realistic because you're so tired when you're that old and like, in a relationship mm-hmm. and you're like, oh man, we fell asleep eating cheese. Like, they are so good at just making normal seem like romance yeah you know? yeah and, and, it's just and, the little, the little things that you love about someone yes. it's the little things you do for someone that makes them go oh you went out your way for me um mm-hmm. they do love they're so other. comfortable around each other i love it's that. very yeah very comforting to watch them good wholesomeness yeah. i don't know about these i don't two. like these two as a couple i say d tier because i mean they have some like funny cute you know high school moments like high school relationship moments but they're barely but a couple though it's more like on again they're off barely again. a couple on again uh yeah on again off again and jimmy jr is just like always like oblivious he's, he's always an, he's flaky yeah it's like and i'm not saying like oh i hate them it's like i love the characters they're hilarious but them as a couple it's terrible i agree <laughs> just a disaster uh, these two characters are from the movie, uh, um... Oh, Rio. Rio. Uh, I think I only ever saw that movie once. I don't remember anything about these characters. IDK tier. They, they do hook up at the end and have babies, so good on them. But, you know, that's all I know. Uh, we got Daffy and... who? Girl Daffy? Who, who's this? I, I, I watched the show, but I forget her name. Um, yeah, I don't... I haven't watched the show, so I don't know who this character is. I might need to put them in IDK tier. Tina, I I don't know. I'm sure she's wonderful. She looks she looks like she's from Jersey. Um, we got uh we got um Gumball and that one girl. I um they they I, don't I remember, really remember. They, they're like sweethearts, but that's all I recall. I remember them being cute together, but I don't know. I don't remember enough. Penny, uh, I'm sorry, chat. I'm putting them in IDK. I, I don't have context. Um. We got These two are Richard a funny and, and uh, oh shit Nicole um, Nicole they they kind of give me like less toxic Peter and Lois vibes uh, for sure they went through a lot though because they got like if I ever call Richard and her got discriminated against for being rabbit and cat um, I remember like some childhood flashbacks that were pretty sweet he's kind of like an annoying did set more... times but yeah. I mean it's never malicious is it. No, I, I put him in lower B tier. Yeah, when we'll just let like, me just look at them, you know, big old doofy pink guy with the cool blue mom. It's one of those shows yeah. where you got like the the highs and the lows, you know, where he's being a nuisance and being difficult, and she's a, she's a straight faced one, and then moments where they have episodes with him being sweet, and that's why she was with him. I say split the difference, put him in low B. Yeah, B tier is nice. Ah. I don't remember. I'd say probably similar feelings as Flintstones, but yeah, sorry. You know, he he all he's slightly above Fred because he's not getting into quick rich schemes. Um, <laughs> Puss in Boots with uh oh, with uh Kitty Softpaws is that he, her name? He chooses her at the end. He picks her over the immortality, right? Yes, they're pretty cute. I love that. Say... With the last, well, the last witch was so fucking good. That was so good. Yeah, especially from the, like, when I, the first Puss in Boots movie, I thought it's like, okay, it's kind of typical, um, you know, like, rivalry, but we, oh, we, they actually, they're actually in love with each other. On again, off um, again. Kind of like, whatever, but in The Last Wish, I, it made me more of a believer in them as a couple. God, what a good movie that was. What, what, what an absolute treat Last Wish was. I, I, I. I still remember crying in the theater when I watched that film. Like, I, I will never forget a movie that makes me cry. That, that's, like, real art. Um, okay. Uh, oh, these two. Yes. It's like, called, like, Blumkiss. Yeah, I, forget, I forget their names, but I remember these two. I remember, like, Alex Hirsch got a lot of notes about, like, they're too gay. Turn it back. And he's like, fuck you. Um, gosh. Uh, I'd say at least eight here. These two are adorable. I don't know, uh, he, he, he loves him. Mm-hmm. Like, every time they're on screen together, they seem to just be so happy to be together. Yeah, these two. Um, I've never finished Cora. Asami. I, I this, this is all you. I, 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 oh. Oh, I watched the first season. That was it. Oh. I mean, as a whole, I don't love the show. But there is some pretty good stuff in the later seasons. Um, Korasami, like doesn't become canon until, like, the very end of the show. 
Um, and I know a lot of people really love these two as a couple. And I wish I could agree, but it's just hard for me to really care because we don't see them on screen as a couple very much. Like, it's only towards the very end. And it's, you know, they're not super obvious with it. Um, so we don't really get to see them as a couple until you, like, read the comics. Uh, which I have not read the comics. Um, so they are cute in concept, but just based on how little we actually see of them. Um, let's say C tier. Yeah, you know, okay. It's not bad. I acknowledge that. You know, they're tier? probably very sweet in the comics, but yeah. Where, I just don't really have any strong feelings. Where in C tier? Uh, right there is fine. Okay. Uh, Mavis and... Uh... The redheaded guy. Uh, um, I don't really care. I'm kind of like, whatever. It's like the goth girl meets the every from, guy's fantasy. You know, it's like, I'm just yeah, a normal dude. guy. I, I recall him being pretty, like, like loving of, of her. Uh, I'll, I'll put him in low B or mid B tier. Johnny, that's right. Dude, maybe this is pretty great, though. Uh, oh, these two are cute. Uh, fix it I love Calvin. these two as a couple. That's... I'm putting them. I'm putting them probably a tier. A tier. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish we got more of them in the Wreck-It Ralph two. And I also wish Wreck-It Ralph two was never made. Um. Yeah. It's terrible. We got what is Eep, that? Eep from, oh, from, from the Croods with the Croods. Uh, with Guy. I don't care. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me never think. saw it. I've watched it. Uh, he inspires her, but he's also trying to get away from her at the end. Uh, it's more of like a family thing. I, I remember watching the Croods two, but I can't recall their story too well. I'm gonna put in IDK. Yeah, I, I just could not care less. Uh, we have uh, Despicable Me and his uh, redheaded wife. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't really care that much. I guess they're so they're both villains, and then they get no, together. No, she, she's and... she's she's a secret agent. Oh, she's a secret agent. I thought she was also bad. IDK. Um, I, I just don't care about the Despicable Me movies, so I'm just like I don't really have any strong feelings. All right, Rishi, this is all you, Greg and Rose. All me. I'll try, man, but take the lead. I love these two as a couple. I think Why? they're so sweet because they change each other for the better, and I really like the complexities of their relationship. I like that Rose is literally can't understand how he's feeling because she has like you know she's so alien compared to him well she is an alien um so she doesn't understand like the way she's treating him is like dehumanizing to him because she doesn't really know what it means to be human and he's the kind of he's the one who opens her eyes to what it really means to be human i think um and I like that they have struggles. That's they're very interesting. I like the way those concepts are explored. Um, I just think they're a very sweet couple. Uh, I like them on screen together. Where'd you put them? Um, it, it does end. It ends very tragically too, which is like a part of why you know I like, uh, like tragic couples. Um, it can be beautiful. I mean, I, I'd say at least, I mean, I don't know if you disagree with me. I'd say at least B tier. I'd, I'd say they're well above average. I mean, they're better than Mega Mind. Come on. Part of me even wants to say A tier. I'd just, say but A -tier. that's just because I, I love Steven Universe and I really, even though Rose is a very controversial character, um, I just think they're such an interesting, sweet couple. I, I'd say mid A. Yeah. They're very complicated and she's flawed, but like they do love each other. And, and it's mostly Greg. Greg Universe, who makes up for it. <laughs> uh, what about Lars and Sadie? Oh, they're terrible. They're a terrible couple. Good friends, but... terrible couple. I, I'd say F tier. <sighs> or a low, lower D tier, at the very least. I, I mean, he's pretty terrible to her. Um, he, he lies to her. Yeah, he lies to her. He gets jealous of her. I always wanted them to get together, or at least, I don't know. I, they're pretty terrible. You know what? Honestly, F tier is probably fine. Yeah, they're terrible for each he, other. Because he is kind of abusive to her. He's like verbally abusive to her. He's really dismissive of her. And she's not the greatest for him either. But yeah, they're pretty awful. It's like the they're more of an example of how difficult being a dating as a teenager can be. 
or early college whatever yeah but i do like that they're still friends at the end it just like you know we kind of drifted apart over time just because that's how it is with it you know, the people you work with the people you go to school with just eventually your lives will lead you down different paths that's but a, you can still be friends. a big thing about growing up is how often relationships end because you hang out with them and then you never hang out with them again and you won't know until four or five years down the road you go, oh, I haven't seen that person in a while. And you never see him again. And that's the end. And, and that's okay. That's his life. Mm -hmm. All right. Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, S tier. Where in S tier? And why? Um, see, I never really thought that much about where their specific placement would be in these tiers. Um, it matters. Yeah, I'd say next to Jake and Lady is pretty nice. They fought really hard. They, they really lift each other up in a significant way. Yeah, they were perfect together. Hey, yo, um, Ruby, are you kissing your girlfriend? <laughs> you want to know who my else? Wife. You want to know who else kisses their wife? My mom. <laughs> oh man! You no, know, I like that they're so in love. You know, together. You know, you're like, oh, what a beautiful, harmonious couple. But then, you know, they go through some really rough tides, and they become stronger for it and you know are still even able to be their own separate people you know towards the end of their uh relationship or <laughs> end of their relationship like the end of the run of steven universe um can you imagine I think, yeah. ruby and what? sapphire looking ruby's like can you all fuse muscle and starla muscle man's like oh we can fuse all right <laughs> oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> We're doing it right now. We're doing it. I gotta <laughs> do it. All right, Fred and Velma or Daphne. Um, oh my I don't know. So many more to go. Okay, well, let's <laughs> start doing rapid fires. Right, um, rapid fire them over the next minute. Go. They're cute. Uh, I'd say like on the well, do they really have a relationship or do they just sort of hook up? I don't know. I don't know either. I guess it depends on which series you're watching. Kristoff and Elsa or Anna. Um, they're cute. Uh, I see a proceed here. Well, you know what? They're, they're kind of stupid in the second movie. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to propose to her, and she's like, "I'm, I'm, I'm busy." Um, I don't I, know. I'd say C tier. Actually, I don't really give a shit. I say B tier. I like, yeah, I like the idea. I guess more, but I just don't really care about Frozen. So <laughs> sorry. Um, F tier. Oh yeah, F tier. No question. I I don't know about these two. Actually, that's a but... Oh well. <laughs> I guess it's interesting, but uh, I don't know. IDK is fine. <laughs> it's like, eh. whatever. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. Chaz and Clarence's mom. I'd say they're, oh, they're cute. They're cute. He, yeah. He's not even like, he's like, he, he's taking care of her, uh, though she's most taking care of him. But he's yeah. also a good father figure he's, for Clarence. Yeah. I'd say A tier. Yeah, they're cute. Um, I don't recall these two that well from uh oh, the of life they don't really i think their roles are just so generic that there's not a lot to remember she's kind of like i'm not like other girls i can fight us with a sword and i'm cool but they sing songs together i think they're cute i'd say to c tier they're okay yeah, upper c tier uh judah and princess oh. carolyn take, take, take the point ah uh, shit they are pretty perfect for each other um he really and i really her. do like that yeah he really does get her they give each other exactly what they need. And they understand each other on a level that, you know, nobody else really ever was able to um, for Princess Carolyn. Like, even Ralph, you know, didn't quite get her on the same level that Judah does. Um, but also just timing, you know. Um. Upper, upper B, Lorraine? <laughs> at least B. Yeah, at least a B. Because, like, I do think they're sweet and I like them a lot, but I wouldn't say, like, oh, my gosh, I love them so much. I put them between... They make me very happy. I'm happy that that is he, game. He, he gets her on a very, like, primordial level, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, shit. These two. Oh, I don't give a shit. I never watched Star Versus. <laughs> I think that I'm from saying... what I've seen people online say that they're kind of... They're terrible. Yeah. That, uh, lower, yeah. Lower, Nobody lower... wanted them to get together, really. Lower D tier. Like, just, just barely escaping upper F because they do genuinely love each other, but they're so wrong for each other. They mm -hmm. should have just been really good friends. Uh, shit, they caused like a, essentially a magic genocide. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> RB. Nope. F. There you go. There we go. These there are funny go. couples. Just don't lower the blonde lower, women. <laughs> lower, lower, lower. Ah, fucking yeah, F tier. Yeah. Uh, all right. I like it. It's a stronger statement. Loud house. No idea who they don't are. Know, don't know. Um, don't know. Don't know. Loud house. I just don't know. Don't care. Robin Hood made Marion. Uh, A tier. I think they're adorable. Cute. They're very cute. They've got really cute chemistry. Look at that kiss he's getting. He's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> adorable. I'm laughing right there. Right there, right there. All right. Um, these two. These are. Uh, they have. They're like a very real, very married couple. They stick yeah. by each other despite their toxicity. They do stick by each other and they do apologize. And he goes to therapy. They, with yeah. Her. That's a tough one where it's like they go through a lot of turbulence together, but it feels very real. And you know, it's just because you go through a lot of really difficult times doesn't mean like you're bad for each other or that you no. should not be together. He loves her and she loves him. And I think that's why they, they go through it. I I'd say B tier. Yeah. B tier is good. They fight really hard for each other. Um, mm -hmm. I, I actually made B tier. I know folks were like, but they were, he said terrible things to her. Yeah. Listen, here's the thing is life fucking sucks and people can be unsavory and awful. But like, mm -hmm. if you can be like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to be better and fight actively for you and be better. Like Frank does that for her, so and she yeah. for him. Uh, that, that's the thing. Lo love is rough. Like that's what reality yeah. is. So these two are very real couple. Um, all right, S Jack and uh... oh, and Ashi. Oh, oh, that's a tough one. It's tough because it was just such a. It was so weird. It was weird how they got together because i really did get the impression that they were going to be more of like a student mentor relationship which i thought was sweet <laughs> no and J it jack did feel about to jack off ew <laughs> it did it did catch me off guard when suddenly they were like being all flirty and sexual with each other but <sighs> i kind of like seeing jack in love you know he's finally uh, happy for once yeah, and he's got, like, you know, someone who has his back, and they protect each other. You know, they go through hell together, but... I'd say b -tier. And it's, like, a fun, it's a fun, you know, type of, like, oh, at first she tries to kill him, but then... Um, I wouldn't say B-tier, to be honest, just because I think there's too much weirdness in it. Split the like difference, C-tier? I like C-tier, because it was interesting, but weird, but I just don't like how she kind of saw him almost as this messiah figure... And then they get together, and you know she's only been alive for eighteen years. Meanwhile, he's been around oh, for yeah. much, much longer. Like, I don't know. It's just a little weird. And oh. of course, the way you know, if they had just gotten married at the end and it all worked out, sorry, spoilers. Uh, it would have <sighs> so weird. <laughs> I would have been happy if they got married and it all worked out. But then they were like, oh, just kidding. She's going to die at the very last minute. Lady, you know, I, that's, like, that's, that's your getting And things. that's what that drives me insane. It's like, why didn't she just die earlier? It would have made more sense. And then it just frustrates me. They're a very strange couple. A little baboon face. That, that, that's Gindy for you. He's getting really. I don't know. I want to see them kiss, though. I like the kiss. Yeah, interesting. Her front, her 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 the profile from the front. Mhm. Mm I like the way her profile looks. I love this song, though. I know it's like, like it's a. I like this smooch. I like the music. But man, it's just so weird. My good song good shit yeah and it's pretty weird hold on i gotta look up another couple real fast <laughs> yes much better couple rest in peace to mako hold on <laughs> when they when they meet where is it uh i'm looking for the moment where they make a deal make uh, a deal uh Oh, shit. It's the episode where, like, J uh, Koo makes a deal. Makes a well, I just typed that in, didn't I? Here, hold on. See what I mean? 
That's the that's the one where like uh, he's like Jack. No, uh, if you attack me, I'll just turn into some kind of flying creature. I'll fly away, and you won't see me for like about a week. And then yeah. and then he like does it, and he's like, oh, see what I mean? Oh, that's good shit. Yeah. Aku <laughs> is one of the greatest villains of all time. Uh, yeah, he's uh, so fun. He's my absolute favorite. That's not a villain tier list though. I, I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know. Big uh, mouth, whatever. These two from uh, Craig, Craig of the Creek. I don't know. I haven't watched. So I, I, I haven't watched it enough. I've never watched. I watched the first season of Shira, but that was it. Um, I can't recall it though, which is a bad. Um, song. I think I watched a few episodes of Shira, but I never got through all of it. I think people both love and hate this ship. Um, I've been I, they told. seem pretty, they seem pretty toxic, but you know, people love toxic relationships, toxic, toxic fictional relationships. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Just dance, gonna be okay. Do do do. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just say I don't know. I haven't watched the show, so it's I can't really say. Ivy and Harley Quinn. Um. I've also only watched a couple episodes. I think a lot of people like this couple. I like them. I don't, I'm indifferent. It's like, you know, the humor of villains who are terrible being like semi healthy for one another. Um, I put them in at least B tier. Okay. S split the difference. Cause there's some toxic moments, but like it's learning moments too. Uh, upper B. Ivy's hot though. Um, I've never finished Owl House. Uh, what do you <gasps> think? Oh no, you never finished it. No, I need to. Have you been spoiled I'm sorry. to the ending? Look at Stu and Dee Dee here. Oh my! <laughs> it looks like he's <clears throat> like chewing a sandwich while he's kissing her. I, I I've uh, I finished the first season. Oh man, you gotta finish it. It's who, really good. Who, who does Luz end up with? Take a wild guess. God. <laughs> Luz <laughs> Luz I'd say definitely Luz. at least A tier Alright A tier Yeah At least A tier Where in A tier Like Top Okay Yeah Feeling good for the bisexuals Alright Moxie and Millie Um I'd say Also A tier They're very sweet But they're not perfect They love each other They're like sugary sweet Where in A tier Mm, I don't know Where would you let them Put them in A tier I put them in upper A tier. Yeah. They're very, very sweet, but they're, yeah. Almost I'm sorry. Too... What? Miss Bianca and, uh, and Bernard. Bernard. I mean, she's getting she's clapped. Cute. She's getting clapped by the Australian guy behind the scenes. No, she's not. Yeah. She was getting down under. He liked her, but she didn't like him that way. She always loved Bernard. No. She, well, then why would she taunt Bernard? Bernard. Why, why, why would she taunt Bernard by by trying to flirt with the Australian boy? I say to you, I think she's she's breaking his little heart. He's a good guy. She's awful. <laughs> F tier. Not what are you saying? They're cute together. Um, um, maybe, I'd say at least C tier. Maybe I think C -tier. they're cute, but they're not like the most interesting characters. She was getting her land on under and explored. And... Oh my gosh. No, that guy wishes. She didn't care about him that way. <laughs> But he liked her. They both liked her. Roger and Roger's girlfriend. Um, they're <laughs> a very sweet couple, actually. Just, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica and Ro Rabbit. Roger. I'd say A tier, possibly low yeah. S tier. You can put S tier if you'd like. I say A tier. Upper A tier. Amity over? Are they over Amity and and Lutz? Loose. <laughs> um. No, nah, not more than that because they. They're a very cute couple, but we see so much more of Amity and Luce's relationship and we get to see it develop. That's fair. Um, but I do love that, you know, like, oh, why are you together with this silly rabbit? And she's like, oh, well, he makes me laugh. It's like, yeah, that's very sweet. It's very, very apt. Ariel and Eric. <laughs> um, they have, well, you know what? They're a pretty cute couple. We get to see a lot of them on screen together. <clears throat> you ever uh, watched The Little Mermaid before? I have. I like it. I like it a lot. You watch the beginning with the little dance they do. <laughs> what dance? Hold on. I'm, gonna find it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. My voice is being stupid. I you have a, water? I ate a cherry. And cough drops? Hold on. I'm, I'll be fine. Oh, he ate a cherry. He's one of those little boozy cherries. I like the little dance they do at the start. I'll show it to you. I'm drunk, by the way. I can tell. Hold on, where is it? This is a great movie. 
I consider this movie to be the one that kicked off the, re- the renaissance. You can, is, is it of your opinion? <laughs> it's of my opinion. Look, look at Ariel's hair. <laughs> yeah, it's floating in the water. Where's the scene? Where, it wouldn't dance at the beginning. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. This doesn't, this doesn't look. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I like the little dance these sailors are doing. They're like, when when, when, oh. they, when when girls are like, what are those guys up to? What are they? What are they up to? This is what we're up to. We're dancing, boy. <laughs> They're just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're up to. Aw, cute. <laughs> um, Eric and Ariel. Uh, I. Uh, I'd say B tier. B tier because they, they they have a bit more of a rapport compared to most of the Silver Age and the Golden Age of Disney. Yeah, Princess definitely Princess. over uh, Anna and Blondie. But but they put them over. I put them below Daisy and Donald. By the way, what's tough about Daisy and Donald is there's so many iterations of these characters mm-hmm. that you have to find an average. Um, I would put them. No, they're better than those two dorks. These two dorks? You think so? I yeah. would disagree. I just think there's such. I can't. Whatever. Right there. Doesn't matter. Right. There. It doesn't matter. All right. Home. Oh no. Speaking of an average, fuck. Uh, Homer and Marge. They have. You know when they have their really sweet moments together, I love it. But they have so many awful toxic moments together. Yeah, I don't know about these two. But they always work it out in the end, you know, and they never do. I think maybe like. The worst thing I've seen Homer do to her oh, is, like, hit her with, like, a dart so she, like, passes out because he wants her to stop talking. He does love her, but he fucks They do her. love each other, for sure. And there's no infidelity, thank God, really. Unless I really miss yeah, a lot of seasons. They both get tempted, to at certain points in their marriage, but they never go through with it, I, I think. S- I say split the difference and do C tier. Okay. Yeah, definitely above Jack and Ashi. At least yeah. they're... Them being together you know, nah. makes way more sense. Lo, lo, low B tier. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Apu and his wife. I do not know. Does he cheat on there, her? Uh, I mean, I've been going through The Simpsons recently, so I have a lot of these episodes more fresh in my memory. Um, they're very sweet when they first get together. But yeah, he does end up cheating on her. But, you know, they work it out in their marriage and they still stay together. And, you know, whenever he's not cheating on her, he's actually being like very romantic and attentive to her. Um, I, I, didn't they split? But, no, I, I, don't, I don't know if they I don't split know. up. Um, at least up until the movie, um, I don't think they split up. Like they stay together. They have you know, like ten kids together. I'm gonna say IDK. Uh, I, I do recall him cheating on her. He does cheat on her, but they end up like working through it. I guess that's worth um, something though. IDK. Um, you can put in an IDK. Um. I'd say they're, you know, sweet. Doug and Patty Mayonnaise. Oh, IDK. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Stu and Dee Dee Pickles. Okay. What is their chemistry like as a couple? I'm just, I can only imagine Look, them individually as parents. Rishi. Yes. Look at that nose. Uh huh. Imagine it near his crotch. That's near wh- his crotch? That's why she hooked up with him. Ew. She wanted his pickle. She wanted his that's, stew pickle. That's great. Uh, I mean, he... he uh, she okay. wanted stew his pickle. I would I think... say, actually, he's a foolhardy inventor. He's not good with his money. He s- tries to go after his dreams, which I feel like is, is a selfish pursuit that goes before his family. Um, I feel like he's not that great. I don't think he's a bad husband. I think he's got narcissism, though, to a very mild degree. Um, I'd say C tier. I was going to say, I think C tier is fine. Uh, maybe. They're perfectly fine. Right, right, right there. There we go. Uh, oh, God. Charlotte and These Drew. These two seem to be a little bit more turbulent. Yeah, they're kind of this modern couple during the 90s. That was their point. And that's why Angelica was such a bad, you know, girl. Because um, they were inattentive to her needing, you know, parents. Yeah. Uh, I'd say D tier. say D tier. Yeah. Below average. I put them... Jeez. Wow. 
low t- low D tier. Even worse than the guy who spent no time with the woman and then smooched her. Yeah, well, at least these two are like a married couple. Well, at least he proposed <laughs> to her. Fine, right there, uh, right there. He he didn't go behind Shard's back to cause problems the way they. Okay, hold on, right there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. Ch- these two are a sweeter couple. I actually cried during the episode during Chucky's mom showing up. I, yeah i was like oh, i remember it yeah she, making me cry she too died. uh Ch- it's sad chaz and uh i forget her name jimmy's mom <laughs> uh they love each other and he's he's they're like a each other. i'm gonna say like low a tier yeah possibly right there um sure. oh god Beast. oh okay this yes. this 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 is probably one of the better relationships it's so nice that the relationship is the actual focal point of the story because you have a little mermaid and it's like yes she wants to get with eric but like it has to more to do with her being like in this like half-life state of being like a mermaid or a human but like uh-huh. for, for Belle and beast it's like no them growing close to each other is the point you know can they build a bridge uh, and, and see eye to eye so i i feel like they're a tier to me uh, I might even say S tier. Yeah. I, when I when I close my eyes and I like think of Disney couples, I'm like, yeah, these two are definitely like the pick of the bunch. You ever see that video where like she like Beast transforms and she's like, oh no, go go back to being Beast. I've seen yeah. I remember seeing a comic of it. Bell, it's me. She's like, oh yeah. She's uh, like. Eh. <laughs> yeah I'm like, right there she she got that beast dick and she's like please tell me you still got it she's like where'd all your hair go is this it oh okay i guess i can work with this ew look at those old tear glands ew ew <laughs> <laughs> he's got tear glands ew he, <laughs> what's wrong with that means he cries how unmanly what? What's wrong with you? Everything. <laughs> you no, hear- they've got a beautiful relationship. Do I know you- it's like, you know, we laugh at the ending because she, like, doesn't look into it, but... You ever hear his Their actual the development of their... Yes, when he goes, yeah! Here we go. <laughs> Let's hear it. Look at us! Mama! Mama! <laughs> Here we go. It is a miracle. <laughs> 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 Why does he do that? He's happy. Uh, Batman uh, and Catwoman, they're not a couple. I'm sorry. So uh, Yeah, they're, they've are they got like a hot and cold sort of thing, right? But They, they clap each other. That's about it. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, they, they, they have a casual hookup. They're not a couple. Um, unless some oh, D- I'm, waiting for some, I'm waiting for some DC comic people to tell me I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Uh, I don't. I guess it depends on what the iteration is. I've seen versions where they are together, or versions where like they hook up or they flirt with each other, but don't actually get together. I think it's a fun, like, spicy ship, you know. Hmm. But I don't care that much. They 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 clap each other. That's it. The non couple. Um, Harley and 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 Joker. That's F tier. That's F tier. They're terrible. Terrible put, for each I other. I put them slightly above. Uh, They're like fun and aesthetic only. So funny that people like romanticize them being like, I, he was his queen. It's, or queen, it's the aesthetics, I think. You know, it's romantically dangerous. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Pete and Peg. I can't recall. I thought they weren't that great of a couple. Um... I yeah, I remember them like fighting a lot, but maybe they had moments of being like romantic together, but I really don't remember. Shit. Uh sorry, I looked ahead at some of the other couples. I'm more interested in them. I'm sorry, I'm I'm just pumping them IVK. I don't know. Yeah. Uh Aladdin and Jasmine. Um, they're a very good couple. They're cute. I'd say A tier. A tier, I agree. Mm-hmm. I put them uh right right there. Sure. Um I recall uh, these two getting hitched. Modern life. I, I don't know. I had a crush on her when I was a kid. But I can't recall the relationship, so I'd care. 
Okay, Jack and Sally. Uh, they're, they're... I think that's another, like, people love this couple for the aesthetics more than, like, the actual relationship depicted. They barely talked. The they barely spoke to each other. She's just sort of, like, pining for him the whole time, and he's kind of like, la la la, I'm doing my own thing. I got work, I got uh, work. Okay, I'm done with work. I guess we'll clap. I'd say a D tier. I agree. I don't hate them, but we don't really see them together. Uh, lo low C tier. Low C tier. Okay. Low C tier. There's no toxic. There's no toxicity, but there's nothing really of substance. There's either. no like real chemistry either. I put low. D I put D tier as in there's a problem going on here. Mm -hmm. George spending money that Jane doesn't know about. Uh, Drew and and Charlotte being at odds, or a couple that just met where it's like it's very superficial. Uh, there needs to be like a loss of points or no rapport. Uh, Jack and Sally have a very slight rapport. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, Nala and Simba. They're cute. They're very cute. I say upper B. Yeah, upper B. I mean, uh, friends to lovers is right. a good trope. By the way, that, okay, hold on. Uh, you know what I'm doing. What? Can you feel? Are you going to look at the sexy Nala eyes? What are you talking about? Yeah. I can see what's happening. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> you in the chat. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing. I can see what's happening. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. The YouTube people I saw where I had him going, what? <laughs> Just over and over again. <laughs> oh, what? They fall in love and here's the bottom line. What? From me. The animation that like channels the actual like body language of wines is just so fucking great. That's, yeah, know, it's beautiful. To this day, I can't wait for for YMS's review of part two for Lion King. Oh I, he, he better shake a leg because like the prequel is going to come out here soon. I feel like the the uh, there's the these Disney live action films are in, are like terrible. And are like very half baked with trying to like ape off the energy of the original. The live action ones for the Lion King are are, are insulting. Um, I've watched a ton of bad movies and shows. I usually delight in it. I got halfway through live action Lion King. I say live action quote unquote. I turned it off and I never went back to watch it. It's that bad. I I felt like it like was it hurt to watch to be like this feels like insultingly bad to the original. So, just saying. Yeah. He's holding back, he's hiding. But what I can't Look how cute they are. Look how the pleasing the colors are. Yeah. King I know he is. The king I see. Let me chop. Chop ahead. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> a guy will be like i don't know if she likes me and she's looking at him like this yeah it's like i don't know guys i don't think she digs me all right <laughs> uh i don't know about these two it's from uh gargoyles it's, yeah been too long since i watched the show don't really remember um okay roxanne Ro and max they're cute uh no uh, he lied to her and he made amends. And then also, I don't like that she kind of like, I'll find somebody else. And it's like, that's that's some passive They're, aggressive bullshit. It's like dumb teenage high school love. C but come on, don't pretend you don't think it's cute. I, I, I think C tier is fine, but I think they're cute. They're like right there. <laughs> In my sure. opinion. That's uh, fine. Pocahontas and Mel Gibson. <laughs> Um, I don't dislike them as a couple. Are they really a but... couple though? They run through the forest and they then he's like, don't, don't. Or no, she's like, don't hit him, daddy. She shows him the colors of the wind and she saves his life. And, um, I'm sorry, it's very superficial to me. <laughs> it is, it for sure is. I don't think it's like egregious or anything. It's not egregious, but... it's not, it, there's no negative damage, it's C tier to me. And I, this is us like looking at it in the context of the Disney movie, not of like the course. reality. No, reality is completely different. So reality is yeah, nothing like this. Yeah, reality. Who would have think that human history is is a lot worse? As a matter of fact, um, I would put them right eh. there. You know, you think. The, the, he has no selfish motives the way that Stu has selfish motives. 
Barney gets roped into selfish selfish motives. Uh, Finn had his weird quirks with uh, Flame Princess and his obsessive nature. The way that Mordecai, you know, put CJ on the spot. There, there's a lot of things I feel like that make that are points being taken away in lower C tier, but enough to bump it above D tier. IMO. There Wait. was a deleted scene where they sing a song together that I remember thinking was like really sweet and romantic, but I think they cut it because they were like, eh, this part of the movie is dragging on too long. Kids are getting bored. But mm. I liked it. They sing like a little romance song together. I can't remember. Um, Do you want to move on to the next cute. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woody and Bo Peep. I can't recall them that well. We don't see them on screen together very much, but I think it's cute when they like flirt together. You know, she, they flirt with each other in the first movie. I don't really remember too much in the second movie. Um, third movie, she's just gone. But then the fourth movie, they give her the backstory and their little goodbye to each other is very like sweet and sad. I think they're fun together, you know. Uh, same level as like you know Mickey and Minnie Mouse, I suppose. I agree kind of harmless but i mean i, I want to put them in a tier or uh, oh did we have them in a tier nope nope you're right oh, it's b tier yeah b tier is fine rishi uh i gotta use the restroom okay you cool talking to chat in the meanwhile sure i'm already seeing things here in the options list like my god like there's a lot of south park things where i'm like f f f uh there's things oh my god muriel and eustace fuck you um <laughs> I see things. Oh my God, uh, Katara and Aang. Go use the toilet. Okay, bye, bye. Ew. Awesome. Why do you put the cousins together? Or I guess they're not technically cousins. Oh my gosh. We're in space, Alabama. We're back. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Oh, they are making a Toy Story five, aren't they? I forgot about that. I, you know, I didn't dislike Toy Story four. It did not need to exist. But the fact that it does exist, I think it's in the context that it does exist. I think it's actually a pretty cute movie. Um, I liked it. I didn't, I didn't dislike it. Um, but it's like, okay, stop. Do we need more? I guess so. A fifth movie. I'm excited for Zootopia too. I think that's a movie that's actually very worthy of a sequel. I mean, there's a lot to explore in that world and it could be really fun um deli can how do you spell your name because i've been going rashi no rishi r i s h i rishi um please johnny looking at his own reflection as a couple <laughs> that's pretty funny uh let me see i'm just reading through the chat in Toy Story 8, Woody and the gang goes to Andy's funeral. Oh, no. Hmm. Where does Salad Fingers and Hubert Cumberdale rank? I don't know. I think it's a pretty toxic relationship. <laughs> um. If they get the same writers from Zootopia and the Disney execs give them the same level of creative freedom as the original, I think it could be a good sequel. Yeah, I think so too. I'm really curious as to what they're going to do with it. If it's going to be, you know, like solving more mysteries or how they'll expand the world. Yeah. I really can't wait for it. It'll be fun just to see those characters again. And Judy and Nick have such fun chemistry. There's so much to do in the world. Mm. This is the first time I caught you guys live. Well, welcome. Levithian Empire. I think Sabra will be back here in a second. Oh, speak of the devil. Hold on, I'm back. What are you talking about? Hi. Oh, nothing. I'm just talking about Zootopia 2. Oh, okay. Um, are you good? You need your restroom at all? Nope, I'm good. All right. Buzz and Girl Woody. Uh, they're fun. They're funny together. Where'd you put them? Mmm... Probably, like, on the same level as Bo Peep and Woody. Okay, I agree. Uh, right there. Um, Dexter's mom and dad. They love each other. 
Yes. They flirt um, around. I, he, I, defer, he, I defer to you because I haven't, I don't remember Dexter's lab as much as you do, I think. They're sweethearts. They flirt. They're cute. I, I put them in like B tier. Okay. Maybe like actually right there. Um. Okay. I defer to you. Arnold and Helga. <laughs> Where'd you put them? This one. This one's complicated. A very complicated. Um. Yeah, we don't see them together as a couple for on screen very much, but I mean, Helga does a lot for him. They both do a lot for each other. Um. Even though they, you know, don't become officially together until the end. Um. They're just kids, you know. Um. I think C tier is fine. Yeah, it's like a checkered past, but she does mm-hmm. love him. Where in C tier, you think? I mean, uh, sure, right there is fine. Think so? Yeah, I mean, she's pretty mean to him, but, you know, they grow up and... It's complicated. You know, I just always think about, you know, Arnold's Christmas, where, you know, she gives away her boots so that the guy can help her finds mr Wynn's daughter right was gerald sees like well arnold maybe you got a guardian angel out there looking out for you and uh, then it cuts to helga standing outside in the snow without her shoes on saying merry christmas arnold it's like man she loves him i watched that last christmas I actually got teary-eyed during that episode the way she says it is so sincere yeah but as the two as a couple like we don't see much of it no but you know, like, there's a future there, and it's probably wonderful. Steely Phil and Pookie from Hey Arnold. <laughs> They're pretty cute. They love each other. I think I love how they. He's like, "Where are you going? Uh, where are you going, Pookie? To take down the man? Don't wait up." Okay, Pookie. <laughs> I actually think they're pretty yeah. adorable. I put them in low A tier. I was gonna say A tier would be great. Actually, I put them above. Uh... Actually. Yeah. A- actually. I kind of, yeah. I kind of love them. That's fair. Yeah, they grow old together. Yeah, I think if they're cute, and when you're that old and you still love each other, there's there's something to it. Yeah, A tier. All right, um, Esmeralda and Phoebus. Eh. Eh. They feel like they're just horny for each other. To they're, be honest. They, they're cute together, I guess, but <laughs> I don't have the strongest feelings. I want to find that Hellfire remix I watched. Listen to this. <laughs> so tell me, Maria. That's so good. <laughs> I'll put in the chat for those who want to hear it. I actually worked out to this song. All right. Um, I'm putting them in C tier. Yeah. C tier is fine. I guess it's harmless. He he goes up the bat for her, but it's more of horny brain in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know about Lola and Bugs. I remember Lola being pretty crazy in the Looney Tunes show for him and doing some pretty crazy shit. But yeah. I, I can't recall. Okay, here we go. Um. By the way, we got a donation from Blizzicle. And, I, and by the way, I, I gotta fix my my chair, my little donation things. It should be chiming, but it's not. Uh, have a good work, Blizzy Cole. Thank you for the bits. Take care. Um, Peggy and Hank are a good couple. Uh, Hank has I wouldn't done... say they're the best couple, though. They're not the best, but here's the thing. Hank's not a very emotional person in a traditional sense. Or eh, maybe he is traditional. Hank's not very open about his emotions, but that's not to say he does not have emotions. He does love Peggy. And there's moments where he can be selfish. Uh, but there's moments where he'll rise above his selfishness and he'll have, you know, he'll, he'll let his selfishness die to himself in order to take care of Peggy. Um, they've gone on dates before. Not many. Uh, he does love her. He does care for her. Uh, it's like a Bob and Linda relationship, but a lot more dry. But a, yeah, I was going to say, it's a lot less cute, and you don't really see them openly expressing their love for each other the mm. same way that you see Bob and Linda, which I know is part of the characters. They're just, they, like you said, they're so stiff and dry. It's cute because they definitely love each other, but... I yeah. put them... I definitely not A tier. Not, not A tier. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he loves her, but he's not like, you know, like... 
outrageously in love. But that's not Hank, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I put them in right there. And Peggy think... does some pretty awful things to him, too. Yeah. I, I think that's a fair average right there is that, that mm-hmm. one beer, B tier. Uh, um, oh, okay. F tier. These are all... <laughs> no. these are all king of the hill i do have to run to the restroom actually so i'll let you go through all of these because okay, we right. probably agree on our opinions anyways all right yep we're we're simpatico you and i all right get all out right. of here uh be right back bye all right cool dale and nancy she cheated on him she at least ended her infidelity with john redcorn uh and they were better but he also has done some pretty toxic things to her uh, there's the episode where he insulted her because he thought that he was being bugged by a cigarette company, uh, which he was. But at the same time, when he was doing it, uh, he was doing it in order for her to get some kind of like plastic surgery to make her look pretty. He Dale's complicated. He does. Dale loves Nancy. He trusts her to a fault to the point of being like, oblivious. Uh, but she cheats on him. They're they're a complicated couple. I feel like the things they've done against each other has brought down their average pretty severely. I think low C tier at best. At best. Um, John and Nancy's is, is, I'd say in my opinion, doesn't even qualify as a relationship because it's just more of sex. Um, I put them right there, to be honest. Yeah. How about that? Mid F tier. Um, because yeah, they both cheat. They're both in, in the infidelity. Um, there's not really a relationship. It's just more of infatuation and passion. But it, it's a flash in the pan. Lucky and Luann. They care for more of each other. There's no infidelity. Lucky's been stubborn. I was talking about Rishi about this with yesterday about Lucky as, as a character and how he's a very value. Uh, you know, my here's my code of honor, my values, my traditions, and how these traditions are very arbitrary. Where he's like, you know, I can't get married unless I have a high school diploma or it's a shotgun wedding. And it's like, why? what's with these arbitrary decisions of why you do something you don't? And there's moments where it can come across as noble and other moments where it's stubborn or, you know, one and the same, depending on how the outcome may lean. Um, I put them in maybe upper C tier. Uh, lower B tier. They do at least click. And and Lucky does say, like, I'll do what a monkey does, and I'll stick with my mate. Uh, so, yeah, lower B tier, in my opinion. Because there's moments where he's kind of thick in the head, and she's kind of thick in the head. They're both kind of dumb. But uh, they do love each other. So lower B tier. Eh. Upper B tier. Mid, right, right there. There we go. I'll wait for Rishi here for the rest. We're, we're getting to the final stretch. We got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times seven is 56, I believe. So we have 57 more left to go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Am I correct in my assessment? Eight times seven. Yo, look at that. Take that basic arithmetic. I can do it. Chat, how about you? How y'all doing? How are we how are we doing this evening? Uh, I can already see things like you know Satan and Saddam. It's F tier. Um, Eustace and Muriel, like F tier. Um, I'm trying to snipe at some other F tiers here. That's some total drama characters, which I mean most of these are going to be low D tier because they all fuck around each other. Um, oh God, S tier with these two. Uh. <laughs> Trudy and Oscar. That should be interesting. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. We're on. Thank you. Her- Her- oh, by the way, so as far as placement mm-hmm. goes, I said Dale and Nancy, low C tier, split the difference because she does clean up her act and she stays faithful after she ends things with John Red Corn. Dale does love Nancy and he'll do anything for her, though he has moments of being very selfish and going off and doing his own thing. Uh, so I sp- uh-huh. so I split the difference, low C tier. Uh, John and Nancy, mid F. Uh, they barely For have sure. a relationship, but they're just fucking with each other. And yeah. Then, and then Lucky and Luann, low B tier, just because there's some love there. And there's... yeah, there's love there, and they sort of make sense for each other. Yeah, but also like, yeah, barely. You know. Ugh. 
Hercules. I'm just not a fan, but whatever. I know you're not. Uh, Hercules and Meg. These two are a very cute couple. He's a big old himbo. He's like, yeah, big old puppy dog. And she's like, you know, I'm all bitter to love. And I'm, you know, he totally opens her heart again. They're very I say sweet. Low, low A tier. Yeah. She's also really hot. I think that's the first time actually in animation, at least to me, where you had the woman actually be or in a Disney film where the woman's older uh-huh. than the boy. Yeah. She strikes me to be like, he's like in his early 20s and she's like in her mid 20s to me. Wow. She's so much older. Well, still older though. Yeah. I mean, am I, in chat, am I wrong there? Am I, am I wrong in that assumption? I, I, I'm under the impression that Meg is like a, a year or two older than, than Hercules. And he seems like, yeah, well, she comes off as more worldly than him. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's just, you know, him being a bit more oblivious and, and naive and greenhorn and himbo and she's a bit more jaded and, uh, but still like this femme fatale, but like this cynical, but kind of dry humor since to her, but also like has a, a heart, you know, deep down inside of her. She's great. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh God. We talked about these terrible, well. uh, F tier, you think? Yeah, I mean, when they're together, like, what cute moments do we even see with them together? They've had some toxic moments of screaming at each other. And and he did that AI thing to, like, make her feel comfortable with her. I, mm-hmm. I Which is, like, very deceiving. It's really sad. <laughs> yeah, he's not good to her. Nah, he's not. All right, mid, mid F tier. The F tiers yeah. are starting to get crazy. Oh, speaking of the devil. And the devil, actually. Can we, go mm-hmm. just, can we just put him in F tier, please? Yes. All right. We're in F tier. I don't know. Bottom. I'm thinking because it's Saddam Hussein and the devil. <laughs> I feel bad for Satan, actually. He, he, yeah, he, it's. A, I like. I like those episodes. They're really funny, but they're bad. Couple, like those though. two as a couple, they're yeah, they're awful together. I feel, I feel bad for Satan. He deserved better. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. Um, uh, I actually think these two are worse. I was gonna say these two are also F tier. They're terrible together. Oh. Uh... You seem miserable. Yeah, I agree. Uh, she she is on record saying they got divorced and then they got back together and she's like, I don't know, Stan, I guess this late in life, you just kind of stick with what you got. And it's like, that's sad. And then the rest of the show, I remember like just how like they, they have moments where they'd fuck and have some fun. But that's about it. They, they seem like they're pretty miserable. They seem, yeah, like miserable together, I guess. Put them above Satan, just barely. Yeah. They're a more functional couple. Maybe above Beth and 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 Jer- Jerry. Yeah, At least I'd say maybe they're slightly better than Joker and yeah, Harley. Yeah, Joker and Harley. Yeah, but still bad. It's still pretty bad. All right. Uh, Anastasia and uh, Don Bluth. Dimitri. Gener- generic boy. Dimitri. They're cute. I think they're a cute couple. Where'd you put them? B tier? B tier. I agree. I mean, high B. High B? Yeah, I think they're very sweet together. Uh, Right right there, maybe. Yeah, blow Mickey. Yeah, blow these two. Okay. Right there. <laughs> right, right, right there, right there. Mulan and... Uh, Sh- Shang. Oh, Shang. He, he's pretty great. They're, yeah, I like these two together, yeah. too. He, mm. he he really grows up because of her. Yes. What do you think? Uh, hmm. I think A tier actually. Yeah, that that moment during make a man out of you where he gets hit and he's like, I might be gay. Right. <laughs> um. Shit, where would you put him? I wouldn't put them below the dogs. <laughs> I put them. I put them uh, right there. Nah. Right there. Right there is good. They have more infatuation. Hank and Peggy have more love, but like also have more odds because there's just more going on with the characters. There's more episodes compared to the one movie. We get to see them as a couple a lot more. I actually love these two as a couple. Uh, Mary yeah, and, and, and Nigel, they love each other. I'm going to put them in A tier. I'm thinking... Sure. I'm thinking right there below Steely Phil and, and uh, Pookie. 
Yeah, there's something very sweet about just weird couples who get each other and just stick together. It's a good trope. Oh, no. Mm. F tier. Where in F tier? I don't know. Below Beth, Beth and Jerry? Bel- uh, y- yes. He He's done some abhorrent things to her. Mm-hmm. I know it's like family guy shock humor, but like it's terrible. Okay. Uh, speaking of F tier. Um, oh, yeah. That's also F tier. These I, two are fucking miserable. I hate. I think what gets me is, and I know I've, people have said this before, but like the way that they these two started off on a high note and then how far they fell and how he got cucked and how she was like, fuck you, Joe. You're handicapped. I'm going to go cheat around on you. And it's like, dude, he was a badass when I first. I remember watching when he first showed up. I was a kid. I remember being in high school or middle school. And I remember seeing like the DVD with him showing up. And I was like, wow, he's so cool. And they completely bastardized his character. It's a shame. Uh, Fry and Leela. Uh, they're, so they're kind of a complicated couple. They're on and off again quite a bit. But like their good couple moments together, are I think, are very, very sweet. And you know I do like the way the show ends with the two of them. You know, growing old together, and then what was it like? Oh, you want to go for another round or something Aww. like that? A tier, right? I'd say A tier for sure. These two are very cute. Uh, put the, would you put them above uh, Chaz and Clarence's mom? Um, yeah, I feel like I you see more of them together. You see more of their relationship. Above uh, Greg and Rose. No. Okay. But that's just my personal taste. Uh. Amy and, um, oh shit. Kiff? Is Kiff. that his name? Kiff. They're cute. They have a lot of cute moments together. I don't really remember too much, though. My, uh, I don't know. Memories. I... I think they have cute moments, but. I can't recall. I feel like they spend a lot of time apart. He, he, they love each other. I thought they were pretty innocent. I recall them loving each other. I think they're eight here. Like, Possibly I don't know if I can't there. remember. I'm not sure if I put them in A tier, but I recall well enough the seasons I did see back in the day that they love each other. Oh, they... Amy, Amy cheats on him though. What? Better, but then better relationship than Fry and Lila. I mean, again, Fry and Lila. Oh. Maybe A tier is too generous for them. If he cheated, they do if have. He, if she cheated on him, that bumps him down a bit. Yeah. Fuck. I, I, oh, I, I... Zap, of course. She cheated with Zap. No, I'm sorry. That's that's D tier to me. With Bender? Okay, what's what really happened? Oh, right after Kiff, quote unquote, died. Hmm. I'm sorry. I decayed. I, I just don't know enough. Yeah, I guess I don't remember. Karen and Plankton. They, um, they, I guess they have some cute moments together, but they also seem pretty miserable a lot of the time. At least Karen does. She doesn't seem to be all that happy. Yeah. They have like some cute moments though low b tier <laughs> uh sure yeah i feel like they're below some of these other characters maybe like right 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 there there we go sure um tarzan and jane they're a very cute couple she's hot they're both they're both goobers uh, i put them in b tier at least possibly a tier Uh, would they, would yeah, they they're right they're there? definitely on par with like Simba and Nala. Right there. Sure. Um, F tier. <laughs> well, he's so mean to her. He's he's cruel. I put them right there. He didn't. He, they they don't cheat on each other. Same way that John Bradcorn cheats on Nancy. Mm-hmm. But right there, I don't care. I don't care if she's like, oh, sweet man. No, he's an asshole. Yeah. Eustace is an asshole through and through. <laughs> he's terrible I, I, i'm sorry i don't care if there's episodes where they might have had like come to an accord um she he, he's cruel to her and i think he's even like i think there's an episode where he was like a, he was like a wrecking ball and she was like a washing unit and he was trying to hit her oh so, my gosh i don't know All about right. ginger here and 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 derek yeah sorry. me neither uh pacha um, and 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 uh his wife his wife <laughs> they're cute they're cute they, they seem to be like a really good team I put them in at least low A tier. Sure. I like low A tier. I love seeing like happy married couples. Me too. I I, I like that too. Um, Cosmo and Wanda? Uh, well, again, it's like one of those things where at first they were super cute together. Like they were 
constantly showing their love for each other and constantly seemed to miss each other. But then as time went on, it kind of just turned into, uh, like, they're just tolerating each other. And he's just like, ah, oh, she's such a nag. Nag, nag, nag. And, you know, she's just like, oh, well, he's just a fucking idiot. Yeah. I, I say upper yeah, detail. They lost their charm. It's a shame. I hate when they, when they get flanderized that way. But we need we need friction and we need them to be at odds with each other. So they're becoming a bad re, you know, relationship that's deteriorating. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> great. Speaking of the devil. These two are also these are bad. also yeah pretty bad. At least at least these two, uh, shit. Maybe like right there. Sure. Shrek and Fiona. Oh, I mean that's definitely at least a tier. I agree. Yeah, there's something very beautiful and real about their love. I put them below Cal Calhoun and Felix. To be honest. He, he fights a, you know, he, he goes to, well, they, they were more of a, he was doing it for a swamp at that point. Mm -hmm. But he goes to the castle in the second film. I put them in an in upper A tier. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Uh, donkey and the dragon. They're weird. <laughs> yes, they are, to put it That's nicely. a weird couple. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'd you put them in A tier. I'd say so. They fuck. I guess they love each other, but. Mm, mm. Right there. <laughs> Above Greg and Rose. All right, sure. Fine. We'll let you have that. Uh, Mike and. Um, oh, and Sylvia. Celia. Celia. Uh, they, they they're like... cute. He, he, he they loves don't... her and she loves him. They're cute together. Remember when he's like, you're oh, me, me, me and you. The both of us together. together. I, put, I put them in like low, cute, yeah. low A tier. Uh, I I don't know about these two. Sorry, I just I can't recall. Nah, I think they're kind of like that Helga Arnold thing, but they actively hate each other more. Um, right there. Uh, sure. I well, wouldn't say they're better than Mordecai and CJ because they're like actively when they're good together, they're really good together. I, we well, don't see Cindy and Jimmy like as a couple very much. They mostly just fight each other. I, but I, like, oh, they hate each other, but oh, they actually love each other. That kind of shit. I don't have an answer actually because I I don't know. Okay. Um, Kim and Ron. Um, well, I know they don't really get together until the end, but I was happy when they got together. Fan service, you know, for the win, right? Um. He he was there with her and her there with They're him. They're always there for each other. I'd say A tier. Yeah, you know, I I like the friends to lovers trope. Um, where uh, yeah, where at A tier? Oh, uh, I don't know, low A tier. I put them below. Uh, right, right, right there. <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, oh, Nani and David. I actually would put them in. They're very cute. Upper A tier. He he yeah. was he was patient. He's like you know she's she's got a lot on her plate with working her sister, and aliens. Um, mm -hmm. He never pressured her. He joked, but he never pressured her really. Uh, I put him and her, and they're yeah fantastic together. I actually think I might put them right there. I like that. All right, uh, I don't know about Oscar and Trudy. He's kind of selfish, but he has moments where he does love her, and she mm -hmm. loves him. I'd say B tier. I don't remember. Like I, of course, I remember Proud Family, but I don't remember the two of them as a couple very much. So, I don't know. I don't have any strong opinions. I Me mean, neither. I, I feel like IDK. Uh, I I can't recall. Yeah, I like, don't remember uh, if their uh, relationship is super lovey-dovey, if it's super real, or she if it's scorned like, oh, him a lot. She scorned him a lot with him yeah. being like the very you know woman, woman, you know, go, whatever woman. <laughs> um, I didn't pay attention enough to know the answer to this question, so I'm gonna put him in IDK. Okay. Number uh, three and four. Did they ever become a couple? I don't. I know a lot of people ship these two together. I didn't watch this enough of this show to really form an opinion. I think a lot of people like these two, though. I mean, I get their chemistry with her being like the, you know, aloof and I sweet think... heart. And he's the hard, you know, yeah. tough boy. 
I guess, yep, they became a couple at the very end, I guess. I don't know um, enough, I'm sorry. I don't know enough. I mean, aesthetically, they're cute. Her being like, I'm the cutesy, outgoing one, and him just being like, yeah, I'm the I'm tough, a tough boy. I'm a... Kind of, you know, it's a cute strong dynamic. Front. Nah, or... <laughs> he's a strong. Uh, same thing with one and his girlfriend. I, yeah, I don't remember at all. Starfire um, and Robin, were they ever a couple I... on the show? Yes. I mean, it was kind of one of those slow burn things where it's like, oh, will they? Won't they? Like, obviously, like from the very beginning, they have feelings for each other, but they don't really fully explore them until like the very end. I think they don't even kiss until the movie. Um, no, I'm, he, she, kid, she, though, I, she kissed him beforehand to get his uh, ability to speak English. I know, but, you know, they didn't kiss together as like a couple until the movie. I like them together. I've always really... That was always one of my favorite ships as a kid. I can't um, recall well enough. Uh... They're like definitely that slow burn. You know, when will they finally just get together? We all, As the audience, we all know they're going to get together. But they take forever to get to it. But um, they, they're they also like really good uh, friends, you know, throughout the show. I like them as a couple. Where should we put them then? Um, I'd say B. Okay. Maybe below or above Hank and Peggy. Who? I think Hank maybe just actually below, is... just below. Hank and Peggy. Okay. Beast Boy and Raven. I mean, Lord knows there's enough Rule Thirty Four comics out there to say they should be together. Huh? I was gonna say. I mean, there's more fan art of them together than they actually are together right. in the show. I, do I don't like, think they uh, ever are canonically together in the show. I like their chemistry. I like the, yeah, I like the idea a lot. Um, but we don't really see them as a couple in the show. Shit, I don't know. Oh, we're getting raided. Oh, we got raided. Cuervo Ambar, thank you for raiding. I don't know why my alert box is not working tonight. We'll have to fix that later. Hold on, I, I gotta make a note for that. It, it should have worked. Hold on. Maybe there's a thing with my alert box where properties follows raids oh that's why it's not working sorry I, I need to fix my alert box later yo thank you for raiding uh cuervo Embar. appreciate you and you and your viewers hope you're having a good evening looking out here fix alert box i don't know why it's not working all right um <laughs> beast boy um, raven so as a Based and I've only seen the original cartoon show. I haven't seen Teen Titans Go, not enough of it to judge these two as a couple. And I have not read the comics, um, but I have seen a lot of fan art of them together, which I love, and I love the idea of their dynamic. So if they were a couple, I'd say that would be an eight tier couple. Um, but I don't, from what I've seen in the show, I don't think they actually are. But they're very good friends. So. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm split putting... the difference. C tier. Yeah. C tier. Yeah. If they actually were together, though, like in the show, I think that would actually be pretty awesome. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking S tier. Who cares? I'm putting them in IDK. They're not really a couple. Couple. I mean, they I are. Just, but she just really... shows up in like that one episode, right? She shows up in a few, and she shows up in the anime as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course she would. All right. Uh, Monarch and Dr. Girlfriend. Oh, they're a pretty good couple, aren't they? Doc I know they... Dr. Girlfriend I had a crush on when I was a kid. Hold on, let me see if I... Yeah. I, I don't blame you. I, I was confused. I'm like, why is her voice so deep? <laughs> Ow. Finally! I've been trying to reach you people for hours. My my period case. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Twenty one. Can you hang on a second? There is a taxi idling in the driveway, awaiting his fare. Slay him. Was that Venture? What'd you tell him? What the hell time is it? I stalled. What did he do to you? The usual. He threw me in jail. Yeah, this show's really smart. Um. I... I'd say I remember like really, really liking them as a couple. I think they kind of like really loved each other. I think like B tier. I might even say low A tier. I think they were like 
kind of a like a power couple, right? Yeah, yeah. They had their flaws, but they loved each other. I got there's so much adventure time I still gotta watch, so I I think this might be a, an ill informed guess, but low A tier. Adventure time? Or I'm sorry, adventure time. Venture, oh, Venture Brothers. Venture Brothers, good God, sorry. Yeah, I've only gone through it once before and I never finished it, but you know, I liked a lot of it. Um, Sam and Danny are like such an annoying couple because it's kind of that similar Robin and Star- Starfire thing where you know that they're going to get together, but they draw it out for like the entire show. Um, and I mean, of course, as a kid, I shipped them, um, but we don't like see them as an actual couple until like the very end. Uh, and I do like their chemistry together as friends, but a lot of them being a couple, you know, throughout the show is just her pining for him and you know obviously he likes her but he's just like da, 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 i'm just sort of a dumb boy what's going on and she's right. like i'll never tell him my true feelings because i can't i guess <laughs> um uh it's like one of those things where like when they are together it's cute but we don't see a lot of it and most of it is just you know that will they won't they even though we know they will when will they just get it over with sort of right. trope I'm, I'm not sure. C tier. I mean, like, low C. Low C tier? Yeah, abo- mm-hmm. abo- below Barney and Betty? Um, Karen I and think... Plankton? Uh, I put them below that. Right there? Or right there? Right there. Okay. Yeah, on par with Finn and Plankton Princess, I guess. Uh, um, these Mr. Are... Mrs. Incredible. These two are, are, like, a very real couple. Um... I like them in the first movie. Second movie, I feel like their marriage is less cute. Right. Because Bob, like, totally backslides, you know? Like, all his character development is kind of gone. Hmm. I I put them in a A tier, but, like, he does love her. He cares as his family. Yeah, they definitely love each other. And they, like, go to great lengths for each other. I put them right. Yeah, hold on. Below the dragon, above Rose Quartz. <laughs> um, He's doing that to me on purpose. What about uh, Stan? Stan and Francine. I don't know well enough. I have I've not watched. Um... I think they're a pretty kind of like a chaotic <laughs> couple. I I don't know. I actually have no clue. I haven't watched American Dad in a while. IDK tier? Yeah, that's fine with me. Same thing I with I probably wouldn't couple. put them too high. Those two, I think, are... Well, I think they're a pretty awful couple, actually. Um, But whatever. I don't really remember. Katara and Aang. Ugh, nerf. I'm not seeing. Where's my Zutara ship? Where is it? I actually don't like these two are together. I wish it would be Katara and Zuko. I never wanted them to be together. I always thought they were perfectly fine, you know, being friends. really, really close friends. And, you know, I thought like the sister brother relationship was sweet. Uh, or even if it was just like a friendship, I never shipped them, you know. You even mean? even if I didn't ship Zutara, like I just didn't see them getting together. But um, it's fine. I don't hate it. I'd say C tier, but because it's harmless, and you know, I'm not unhappy that they love each other. Uh, Actually, they go through hell together, but right there above above Arnold and Helga. Nah. Yeah, it's insane. They're a little bit better than Helga and Arnold, I think. They're better than better at least than Bar- from what we see in the show. All right, right um, there. Right I, they're not my favorite couple though. They, 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 Guitar I think and they... Aang are below Stu Pickles and <laughs> Dee Dee Pickles. It should have been Zutara. It should have been. It should have been. Uh, Suki and Sokka. They're a very sweet couple. They're a great couple. She's she's, she's good for him. Yeah, they're good for each other. You know, they're, yeah, I like them. Low A or upper B? Upper B. Yeah. Um, Zuko and his goth girlfriend. (laughs) F. F? F. I hate them. (laughs) We're in F tier. Nah, well. She's trying. She tries. She tries to be good to him. But I feel like you know, she... and I'm. I'm just being bitter. You know, because I was like, no, I don't want them to get together. I, I <laughs> no, them... they don't deserve F. Um, I, I put them in C tier. C tier is fine. You know the. She tries to better she does, him. She does. She does oh, love man. him, and he 
they do love each other, I guess, but I think they like break up like unceremoniously in the comics. Oh wow, how cool is that? Which is like fuck you, man. The hippo. I personally, I would have put them super far down, but that's okay. The hippo um, and the giraffe from Madagascar. Um, they're silly. They I think it was cute that they liked each other, but I don't really remember what they're like as a couple. By the way, can I just ask right now, because I feel like it will help us out. Can I just put all these toll drama characters in IDK tier? Sure. Don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I never watched the show, so. I do know, but the answer is they're garbage, but there's so many episodes. I still got to watch some, a few seasons of the show to really have an informed opinion. Don't know, don't know, <laughs> the... don't know, don't know, don't know. All right. Um, for the draft and the zebra, uh, or the, the hippo, <laughs> whatever. Gloria and Melvin? melman i defer to you i have no clue um i think they're cute i don't feel strongly about them but i think they're very cute together i'd say like c tier where in c tier i don't know low c tier uh okay right there sure all right um i don't have strong opinions sarah sarah and uh oh shit what's his name um why am I forgetting his name? Tom. Um, Tom and Sarah. Doesn't she, like, always want to... Isn't she always, like, thirsting after other guys? She thirsts after after Usher. Um, <laughs> okay. And, and he got jealous about it, really insecure, and he hit Usher. Um, the, there's, like, an episode where they're, like, kind of, like, in love, and there's an episode where they're, like, their marriage is on the rocks. Um, I, I put them in D tier. Okay. Maybe Cosmo and Wanda, I'm not sure. They're annoying to each other, but they they never lust after people. Well, no, Wanda. Lusts. I mean, you know, they had their their really really cute moments early on, but you know. Yeah, maybe like right. There. When they're actually in love and sweet, they're very adorable. But you know, overall, the show their relationship just dissolves into blech. You're right there. These two kind of get along. Okay. Um, the All right, almost there. M- mammoths from Ice Age. I I, I think recall. they're so like generic. I don't really remember. IDK. I'd say like yeah, if you IDK maybe D tier. Just don't really care. All right, Linguini and uh, Colette. Colette, they're I like them as a couple. I think they're I cute. I like the way their relationship develops. She's so fiery. I put them in A tier. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're I think they're really cute. Sure. Um, I put them maybe like right there between Tangled and and How to Train Your Dragon. Sure. Uh, I think I might like. I think actually I like Hiccup and Astrid more than um, Linguini and Colette as a couple. You think so? Yeah, I yeah, guess they're definitely. A bit, they're they're a bit more even. We see feel. the we see yeah Hiccup and Astrid as a couple like a little bit more actively. And they like you know. Go to great lengths for each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No more to go. I, I, I okay. never, I never watched Phineas and Ferb. Never. Never. Oh, it's a pretty fun show. I why, really why liked is it a triangle, in middle school. What's the triangle pizza slice kissing with hair on it? It's uh the girl who always liked him. She'd always come up to him and be like, "What you doing?" Okay. And she, it was one of those things where she always, always liked him, and he like didn't really notice until later on. Um. I don't know. We don't really see them as a couple, I guess, until the end. Because I think this screenshot's from a flash forward to when they're grown up. Um, so, I mean, and they're good friends throughout the whole show. So, I don't know. I'm going to say low C tier or something. Low they're C harmless. Tier? Mm-hmm. Where low C tier? Above Karen? Sure. Below Katara and Aang? Yes. Okay. Uh, can, oh, can, can, okay. Anderson, Anderson and Jeremy. Did they? I that might have to be. I don't know because I remember her liking him, and they like went out together. But I don't remember if they stayed together or if they were a good couple. I don't really remember. I don't know about uh, these two either. Because I know that he was like, "You're not my girlfriends." I, I didn't even know they were a couple. I never watched Chowder. Is that what that is? Yes. Never watched it. Eve and Wally, they're cute. Yes, they're very cute. I, I'm thinking A tier. Yeah, I like A tier. I'm thinking even above these folks. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, I'd say yeah, next to Shrek and Fiona. Right there. No, sure. the, the cuties. She's got fun design. They both have fun designs. Um, I don't know about Candy Wife from Chowder, so. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. All right, what about Carl and uh, his dead Ellie. wife? Oh. Aww. They are adorable together. S tier. It's too bad that we see so little of them, but yeah, I'd say S tier. From the little Where that we see, they S-tier. seem pretty perfect. Um, they love each other. Like I actually think they're they're upper S tier. Sure. Shit. I mean, even above, I think they actually might be the best couple on the list so far. <laughs> they are very sweet together. It's just too bad we don't get to see more of them, but. Well, they just seem to be so happy together. They seem like perfect for each other. I'm putting them below Eileen and Rigby because sh- their self better meant we get to see compared to I or compared to Ellie and Carl. Yeah, I like seeing Ellie and Carl next to Bob and Linda. I'd say they're on par. Yeah. Um, okay, three more to go. Uh, oh God, not these two. I, I can't recall. Archer, it's Archer and uh, Donna. Is that her name? Lynn? No. Uh, Lint, lit. no, not Lint. I'm just imagining Archer's voice. What's her name? I forget her name. I don't know. Um, Lana. Lana. I was thinking, oh, that's so funny. I was like, is it Linda? Is it Donna? It's Lana. Lana. Um, I hate these two as a couple. I'd say F tier. F tier. Yeah. We're in F tier. Um. Below Joker and Harley. No. Well, uh, they're still pretty bad. Above. Uh... Uh, they're just terrible right. together i don't anywhere in there it's fine okay i think it's fair right there. yeah they're pretty terrible <laughs> all right two more to go we got uh, the uh, fire chicken the water guy from um elemental elemental i never saw elemental so we gotta watch it together I it. I... Eh, maybe we'll watch okay. we'll watch on the stream or something um sure i'd watch it on stream i would put them in a tier because they have a lot of like you know, we're going to care for each other despite our differences. They do kind of... Well, maybe upper B tier. Shit, I don't know about that. Simba and, and Nala? No, I actually think there's a bit more chemistry between these two compared to Simba and Nala. Because they just want to fuck. Um, right there. Upper <laughs> B tier. All right, and the last one here on the list, Vaggy and Charlie. All right, discuss. Okay. Vaggy's very loyal to Charlie. Yeah, I, aesthetically, they're a very cute couple. Um, when they sing the song together towards the end of the show, that was very sweet. Agreed. You know, I, they're they're very loyal to each other. They're very supportive. Very steadfast. They seem just like a very yeah, very caring, supportive couple. Um, which is great. I don't think they're super interesting to watch though. I agree. I I think there needs to be more friction between them. That's more than just a plot point for the na- overall narrative. Mm-hmm. But there's also. But I mean, there's two. nothing wrong with being just like kind of a normal, you know, couple. Um, uh, from what we see, I wasn't super like correct. invested in their relationship. To be honest, I put them in A tier, but like low A tier. Yeah, they're or, sweet together. Uh, mid I, I don't feel much of a burn like between the two of them. Right there. Yeah, I yeah, like it's... that. All right, folks, and that is our list. Uh, we got a lot of IDKs. We got F tiers, the lowest one being Satan and Saddam Hussein from South Park, <laughs> followed by Family Guy, and then uh, Beth and Jerry and Harley and Joker and and Randy and and uh, Sharon and Aaron. Uh, I think that's pretty fair. <laughs> um, D tier, yeah, Cosmo wanted at the top. We got the Prince and Snow White <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah, uh, pretty bad. C tier, we got uh, Dale and Nancy at the bottom. We got Beast Boy and Raven at the top. It, it looks like F tier is like active toxicity and damage. Yes. D tier is like, oh, you've done some bad, you've done some good, but mostly bad. Yeah. C tier is like, yeah, you know, you're, you're not... perfectly fine. I'd say it's like you're perfectly fine. There's an average brought in where it's like, meh, you're fine. Yeah, you're, there you're might fine. be like some, you know, like maybe it wasn't perfect. Like, yes, Finn and Fee, uh, Flame Princess ended on a pretty horrible note, but the time that they were together was pretty cute. Same thing with CJ and Mordecai. Agreed. 
uh, B tier is like, no, this is a pretty positive relationship that has maybe some flubs occasionally, but mostly positives and, and real love. You know, they, they care for each other. It's cute. I put Zuko and May down enough here. <laughs> um, a tier is like, no, we're doing really well over here. This we're... is this is a fantastic couple. Fantastic couple. Really love each other. Uh, better They better each other. Uh, they push the needle for one another. And they're there. And there's, there's a real true love and altruism to it. Uh, top is Amity em- and, and Lutso. And uh, the bottom is his uh, monarch and doctor girlfriend, which I'm still kind of out, uh, you know, the might want to debate that later some other time. <laughs> and then S tier from bottom to top, we got Beast and Bell, Starla and Muscle Man, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, uh, Jake, Lady Ranicorn. We got Bubblegum and Marceline, Bob and Linda, Carl and his dead wife. <laughs> and then we got Rigby and Eileen. What do you think about those two being at the top? I stand by it. I love those couples. Yeah. And I think, yeah, Rigby and Eileen, especially just because we're both big fans of regular show. I like seeing them at the very tippy top. That's a good point. Stephen, uh, Stephen and Connie yeah, are on this list. Uh, they should be on this list. I Okay. If okay, Stephen eight, and Connie were on this list, I'd say A tier. A tier. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Sorry, this list was made by Ryan Walterson. He did a great job, but usually when you put a, a list together of this size, this caliber, you, you'll forget something. Yeah, there's always going to be lots of couples that are, you know, just categories that we will miss. Um, yeah, I like this list. You know, I might even say uh, Shrek and Fiona should go up to S tier too. Because so. uh, when I look at S tier, I'm like, these are perfect couples. Um, and I'd say Shrek and Fiona are pretty damn perfect too. Yeah, maybe about right then to start a Mitch. <laughs> yeah exactly all right well any great fi- list any final thoughts or anything at all mm. happy valentine's day happy valentine's day folks you all thank you for joining us i'll fix the alert box it's been uh not working with the donations and for the uh bits but for the folks who followed for the folks who donated and subscribed and bits and everything thank you for doing so we appreciate your support for the folks who showed up to watch thank you so much uh, let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go raid that whiskey dingo guy because he raided us before. Oh, house. I was gonna say let's raid Cass. Is Cass raid? Uh, is are they? Uh, Cass shooting? is on right now. Let's see here. Am I not following Cass? Oh, <gasps> how could you? No, I thought I'm I... gonna. I'm gonna go tell them. Hold on. Can you link me to Twitch? Uh, sure. Where are you? And... Hold on. General chat, and here you go. I feel silly. I thought they I, I followed them. <laughs> no, I don't. Wow, it's embarrassing. Stand by one second, folks. Awesome. Let's go raid Cass. Let's go raid Cass. There we go. Raiding Cass. All right, folks, have a good night. We're raiding here in 10 seconds. Uh, tell Cass that uh, furries are dumb. All right. With the ducky face. Yay. Uh, Have a good night, folks. I'll see you over there in a bit, folks. Bye. Bye.